For creativity and innovation, don't aim directly for excellence. Instead, think quantity, not quality. Wait, what? In the book Art and Fear, there's a true story of a college ceramics teacher who divided his class into two groups at the start of the semester. Everyone on the right side of the classroom would be graded solely on quality. They needed only one pot to get an A, but it had to be perfect. Everyone on the left side would be graded solely on quantity. 50 pounds of pots would get an A, 40 pounds of pots would get a B, 30 pounds a C, etc. At the end of the semester, guess which group made the better pots and got the better grades? The quantity group! The upshot is, as long as you're not being sloppy, if you take care of the quantity, the quality will take care of itself. Yeah.